Well, hey guys, we need to talk because Gold Bond is shaking it up for drugstore retinols. They have launched a retinol, not just for the face, but that can be used on the body as well. And we are going to do a deep dive into the ingredients in this. Keep watching. If you have any interest in retinol for skincare, you're gonna wanna hear about this product. I have been trying it out for you all. The results are in. First of all, why on earth would you wanna use retinol to your body? If you're not familiar with retinol, it's a form of vitamin A. When applied to the skin, your skin converts it to retinoic acid. And that is beneficial for improving the visible signs of skin aging. It also, with long-term consistent use, can help to improve collagen production, having a wrinkle smoothing effect. But retinol is also beneficial for improving hyperpigmentation. There is some limited research to suggest that applying retinol to stretch marks may also improve their appearance. Retinol can also be useful in improving the appearance of scars. Retinol is a cosmetic ingredient, and it's an ingredient where formulation does matter. And because it's a cosmetic ingredient, there are never going to be head-to-head -head studies comparing one brand's retinol to another brand's retinol. You're never going to get that. You're never gonna know, does the retinol in this perform as well as a retinol in another product? And you can't go off of possible percentages because it really boils down to the formulation overall. But let's talk about some of the other ingredients in this because it's not just the retinol in this product that's worth paying attention to. It also has hydroxyethylurea, a form of urea Urea is one of my absolute favorite moisturizing ingredients, although a lot of people do not care for the smell of urea. I don't personally notice an odor to it whatsoever, but if you are someone who is put off by the odor of urea, do you know that this product contains it. Now, urea is wonderful for softening skin texture, improving skin hydration. It's part of your natural moisturizing factors. It's hygroscopic. It helps improve the moisture content of the top layers of the skin. And here's the thing, as we get into our wiser years, our skin is a little bit more slow to turn over. That can lead to rough skin texture. Urea applied topically can really help that get back on track because it basically improves the water content of the stratum corneum and so those enzymes are able to function better things go a lot more smoothly quite literally it smooths out the skin surface because of this it can allow for better penetration of other ingredients such as the retinol which is also in this product obviously the consistency of this product is of a nice rich hydrating cream. It has some wonderful moisturizing ingredients that are often found in other competitive moisturizers on the market. Shea butter, a wonderful ingredient for reducing water loss from the skin. Dimethicone gives us a nice lightweight feeling, but also is helpful for softening the skin's surface and for reducing water loss. It's breathable too. In addition to urea, a hygroscopic, this also has glycerin. Glycerin is a wonderful ingredient, and depending on how it's formulated into things, it really can pack a punch of hydration. And this has one of my absolute favorite ingredients, niacinamide. Niacinamide is so underrated in my opinion. It's great for the skin barrier. It's anti-inflammatory. It can help combat oxidative stress upon exposure to environmental stressors. It helps cut down on hyperpigmentation. It helps calm down redness. It's also got anti-acne properties. Now, some people find that it burns and stings. I'm curious to know from those of you who find that niacinamide burns and stings, do you find that to be the case exclusively for your face or does it also occur when you use it to body sites? Here's an ingredient I think I mentioned a long time ago, but it's worth pointing out. Cella Ganella Lipidophila <laughs> Extract. This is the resurrection plant. This plant is adapted to withstand very dry climates. It kind of just curls up whenever it gets super dry and then literally resurrects when there's moisture around. So it has compounds in it that are incredibly valuable for moisture retention. This has squalane in it as well, an emollient that can help soften and smooth skin texture. Phytosterols and tocopherol or vitamin E, these are antioxidants which may also help in minimizing oxidative stress upon exposure to environmental stressors, but they also may aid in stabilizing the retinol in this product. Cocoa seed butter, another wonderful moisturizing and occlusive ingredient to help lock in hydration, 
panthenol, a hygroscopic B vitamin, retinol, and peptide complex. The peptide in this is palmitoyl hexapeptide 12. Palmitoyl hexapeptide 12, it's basically a six amino acid peptide that looks like part of the protein elastin, which is critical to your skin, right? So it gives the skin recoil and snap. The manufacturer of this peptide did a double-blinded study of one month duration in 10 women and they showed at the end of the study, using this peptide to the skin twice a day resulted in an improvement in skin firmness as well as overall skin tone. Now you have to take these industry studies with a grain of salt. And as I've said in other videos, peptides, they do help with improving the moisture content of the skin, which certainly can improve skin firmness and can help in improving skin tone. So whether or not this is, you know, stimulating your body to make more elastin, ah, that seems like a reach, but it's there and it appears to be beneficial for skin firmness. I obviously like that this product is free of fragrance. Fragrance is a common allergen in skincare products. And for people who have eczema or in the throes of any sort of skin issue, the default recommendation is to choose products that are free of fragrance. This also has ceramide in it, a lipid that's beneficial for the health of the moisture barrier. And again, with age, levels of that decline, making us more prone to dryness, applying it to the skin can be beneficial. All right, those are the ingredients, but how does it actually perform? As a body moisturizer, immediately you notice the skin feels very soft, very smooth, likely because of the emollients in the moisturizer. I've been using this product and I have to tell you guys, I use it at nighttime. The following morning I wake up and yes, my skin does feel soft and hydrated. But does it feel any more soft, any more hydrated? Does it look any better than if I use any other moisturizer? It does not. Specifically, let's compare it to the Gold Bond Pure Face and Body, one of my 2022 moisturizer favorites. Now that product does not have retinol in it, but I've got to tell you guys, if you blindfolded me and put these on me, <laughs> at nighttime. I couldn't tell you the following morning at least any differences between the two. They are, there are subtle differences in the consistency. The new retinol cream is a lot thicker, um, but I don't notice any difference in my skin on the body between the two. What about the face? Likewise, I don't notice much of a wow factor in terms of how my skin looks the following morning. It's a good moisturizer. I think if you're someone who's coming from a place of very dry skin and you're, you haven't been consistently moisturizing, you're gonna note a wow factor. But if you moisturize regularly, you're probably not gonna see much of a difference using this versus any other moisturizer. But you have to take into account the ingredients in this. The, the ingredients have something to offer for hyperpigmentation, for wrinkles, for fine lines, for improving photo damage. And in the case of the retinol, which is the ingredient that's unique to this product and the selling feature, that's going to take time for you to appreciate any change related to the retinol, whether it be hyperpigmentation, smoothing out wrinkles, or improving other signs of sun damage. It, it's gonna take time, around, you know, at least four to six weeks of ongoing use. But in comparing it to the Gold Bond Pure Face and Body Lotion, that product like this has niacinamide. That product also has gluconolactone, a polyhydroxy acid, which can help soften and gently exfoliate the skin, improving skin texture and skin firmness. That product has ceramides. That product has sodium hyaluronate, a humectant, which this product does not. I would say the Golden Bond Pure is more of a supporting role in the moisturizer game type of product. Whereas this, you're really getting a peptide and a retinol. Now, how do you use this? They instruct you to put it on at nighttime. Something I like about both the Gold Bond Pure and this retinol peptide overnight cream is that they really pass the shorts test, meaning you put them on, say at night, the following morning, if you wanna wear shorts, you don't have this like weird film on your skin, which can happen with a lot of thick, rich, especially petrolatum heavy moisturizers, is that they make such a film on the skin that if you go wearing shorts the next day, you kind of attract dust and grime. These do not do that. These are very fast absorbing. They sink into the skin very quickly. 
Let's talk about the price. So you can purchase the Gold Bond Age Renew Retinol Overnight Body and Face Lotion, seven ounces. You can get it on Amazon right now, $11.99. Versus the Pure, which again, doesn't have the retinol, doesn't have the peptide, $11.49 for 14 ounces. Now I purchased this at Walmart and I also purchased a bigger size which is available at Walmart, didn't see this larger size on Amazon. The larger size is 13 ounces. I paid at my local Walmart $11.97 for the, for the seven ounce tube. So, and I paid $16.97 for the big 13 ounce pump. So a little less expensive for the larger pump. So all in all, a very good product, a very good value for the ingredients that you're getting with a caveat that I can't actually tell you if the retinol in this is any better, worse, the same than any other retinol I have ever recommended on here before. Because again, to remind you, retinol is a cosmetic ingredient. We don't get head-to-head -head trials with retinol. But I did find personally in my experience using this product that it is very good as a moisturizer. I like using it. I'm excited to continue using it. I think it's going to be beneficial heading into the summer months to improve uh, the look of skin texture, you know, for on the upper arms. It, it's also very good on the upper chest as well. If you have some sun damage that you're hoping to improve the appearance of, I think this, this is a very nice product. Moving along though, what was it? A few years ago, I did a video on body retinols. This was long before this product came out. So I want to share with you guys um, from that video, you'll recall I recommended this. Um, Advanced Clinicals Spa Size, the big pump, Retinol Advanced Firming Cream. This is really inexpensive. You can buy it at Walmart often times they sell this brand. Um, I love this. I love it mostly because of the consistency. It's just a very nice, rich, hydrating cream. Now this does not have urea. It doesn't have niacinamide. It doesn't have a peptide. It has um, tea leaf extract. This has mineral oil in it, which tends to go over better on the body and feel too heavy on the face for many people. Not for everyone though. This is much less expensive. I will say that, and this is likewise fragrance-free. Um, but you're getting fewer unique ingredients in this. So this is something to use at night. You wanna make sure that you wear sunscreen and you protect your skin from the sun when using this because retinol may make your skin a bit more sensitive to the sun. It doesn't increase the chances that you will burn, but it can increase your sensitivity to the sun. It can make the skin feel more sensitive. You may experience some peeling with this in the first few weeks of trying it, especially if you've never used a retinol before. Overall, I definitely recommend this product. I think it's a great value for the ingredients that you're getting. The formula is really nice. It's moisturizing. The skin feels nice and smooth, supple, hydrated. Gold Bond's a great brand. They make good products. Now, do you need to drop everything and go out and buy this? No. Uh, if you were just looking for a moisturizer for the face and the body, and you're not, you, you know, you already have your retinol, uh, I would consider the Pure One instead. It's, the Pure One is less expensive and has wonderful ingredients similar to this although different, for helping with dry skin and just maintaining the health of the moisture barrier and helping to support skin hydration. So you don't need this one per se, if you're, especially if you're already using a retinol or you have no interest in using a retinol, then I would stick with that or stick with whatever moisturizer you're already using that works for you. But I, I'm happy with this new, new retinol body cream from Gold Bond. And I saw some comments from you guys asking about it, asking my thoughts on it, would I review it? So thanks for drawing my attention to it because I would have missed it. Um, it kind of looks actually like some of their other packaging. So I, I would not have even noticed it had you, all, had you all not pointed it out to me. Let me know in the comments though, do you use a retinol on your body? Um, and if so, how long have you been using it? What kind of benefit have you observed from this cosmetic ingredient? All right, y'all, that's a wrap up. Now on the end slate, I'm going to link my older video on retinols for the body. So check that one out because I go over a few others in that video that may be of interest to you. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.